Hello, this algebra problem is pretty easy. We are to find for x and y. Let us call this guy equation 1 and this equation 2. The first equation x is equal to 20 minus y. If we move y to the right hand side, the next step is to replace this particular x with 20 minus y. So that means from here we are going to have. 20 minus y times y equal to 60. Let's continue. 20 times y that is 20y minus y times y that is y square equal to 60. This implies that y square minus 20y plus 60 is equal to 0. By just rearranging this equation, we have this. You will observe that. This quadratic equation we can solve it using quadratic formula and the quadratic formula says y equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a. From this equation our a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative 20 and c is equal to 60. Let us now plug in these values into this right hand side. So we have y equal to minus, what is b? b is negative 20. So we have negative 20 plus or minus square root of b square. That will be minus 20 all squared minus 4 times a, a is 1, times c, c is 60. Everything divided by 2 times, what is A? A is 1. So, Y equal to minus times minus 20, that is 20 plus or minus square root of minus 20 all squared is 4, 0, 0, minus 4 times 1 times 60, that is 2, 4, 0 divided by 2 times 1, that is simply 2. Let's proceed further. y equal to 20 plus or minus square root of 400 zero zero minus 240 is 160 divided by 2. Let's continue. y equal to 20 plus or minus square root of 160 zero could be written as square root of 16 times square root of 10 divided by 2. So y equal to 20 plus or minus what is square root of 16? That is simply that is simply 4 times square root of 10 divided by 2. So y equal to this right hand side could be written as 20 divided by 2 plus or minus 4 root 10 divided by 2. y equal to 20 divided by 2, that is simply 10, plus or minus 4 divided by 2, that is 2, times square root of 10. This implies that y is equal to 10 plus 2 root 10, or y is equal to 10 minus 2 root 10. You will see that we have two values for y. We can then use these values to obtain the value of x. So, since x is equal to 20 minus y, let me show you where we got this equation from. It's actually from this line. So, let's proceed further. Consider this guy first, when y is equal to 10 plus 2 root 10. What we have to do is to plug in this value into this guy. So we have x equal to 20 minus 10 plus 2 root 10. x equal to 20 minus times 10, that is minus 10. Minus times plus, that is minus. 2 root 10. So x is equal to 
20 minus 10, that is simply 10 minus 2 root 10. This is the value of x. Let us call this x1 and this y1. This means that the first solution, x1, y1, is simply equal to x1 is 10 minus 2 root 10, comma, and y1 is 10 plus 2 root 10. This is the first solution. Now let us consider the case when y is equal to 10 minus 2 root 10. Let's manage this side. So when y is equal to 10 minus 2 root 10, we just have to plug in this value into this guy. So we have x equal to 20 minus 10 minus 2 root 10. So x is equal to 20 minus times 10, that is minus 10. Minus times minus, we have plus 2 root 10. So x is equal to 20 minus 10, that is simply 10, plus 2 root 10. Let us call this guy x2 and this y, y2. This means that the second solution for this algebra problem is simply x2 comma y2 equal to x2 is 10 plus 2 root 10, 10 plus 2 root 10, comma, and y2 happens to be 10 minus 2 root 10, 10 minus 2 root 10. This is the second solution, and this happens to be the first solution. So that's it. Thanks for watching.